gosh, this shirt's really wrinkled, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that. Oh, I was just recording another video. Had the AirPods on still. As you can tell, this video is gonna be very raw and it'll have cuts, but it's not gonna be, you know, nothing crazy, no editing. This is just a video of me just talking to the camera, kind of explaining what's been going on in the past two and a half, two months or so. And yeah, it's, it's kind of been a lot. Obviously, as you can tell, I haven't been uploading on this channel and I don't have any big following on this account. This isn't my main, you know, YouTube. Well, it is now. It's, I don't use my main YouTube channel, but this isn't my main source of income or anything like that. I kind of just create these videos to help teach people and kind of kind of help myself at the same time. It's, it's a lot of work for this channel and I also do a lot of work myself. So trying to balance life and trying to balance fun is very hard for me to do especially when i procrastinate and i have a lot of things running through my head possibly adhd who knows you know my brain's running at a thousand miles per hour 24 7 and if you're friends with me you have probably heard me say that multiple times and it's it's legitimately true like it's not me just saying that just you know oh i have this and that i, I don't know i don't know if i have it it just something that generally feels like it's happening to me all the time on a daily basis but this isn't a I have ADHD type of video it's more of like um, kind of just be real with the camera I obviously should just post this on my main channel but like I said this is gonna be my new main channel my drawing media channel it's just who I kind of want to be now I do like the Eric drawing stuff maybe if I somehow get a bag and I can just happen to vlog you know my life in general then I'd go back to that channel but for now I'm kind of just gonna keep it on the content creating side of things and kind of keep me just teaching people how to do stuff because that's fun for me I always love talking about video related stuff and it kind of just helps me get that out instead of having to throw it at my friends that don't want to hear this shit now about two months ago one of the hardest things that's ever happened to me in my life has kind of affected my creative ability I did end up having a breakup and I'm not gonna get into any details about it it's nothing that's worth putting online but at the same time it's kind of like affected how I've been creatively mentally and just kind of my motivation to do different things once it happened my literally that day of my brain kind of shut off the whole day I had people clients hit me up um, and I didn't even remember them hitting me up I just happened to see it like a week later let's say like hey can we do this video and I just never responded because I was just going through so much at that time in that moment that it kind of distracted me from work and I've never really had like a big distraction from work to where it like affected me being able to talk to clients or you know just stuff like that and do my job you know to the best of my ability I'm not a crazy editor or anything you know but I do typically get my edits done and more of a cleaned up fashion but there were some times that where I would you know miss something I think one time I missed color graded a clip I didn't even color grade a clip I think I missed color grading it and I put a log clip in a video but it was just so much going on in my life that it was kind of hard for me to fully understand what happened and why it happened and at the same time try to do my job have fun and try to put on not a facade but like somewhat mask how I was feeling while trying to just seem normal at the same time and it wasn't very easy for me to do and I, I did it for the most part. A lot of people, some people ended up picking it up here and there that I was not <clears throat> fully who I am. But at the same time, it's like, I've faked it a lot. It, uh, just not like who I am online, but necessarily like, I've faked how I felt for a while f throughout my whole life. Just because I don't really like to show my emotions, I guess, side to like people that I don't really know or people I see every day, I prefer not to, unless it's like my best friend who I tell everything to. like they're the only ones that really know like what goes on in my life and how I actually feel. Basically, life's been kind of like throwing cool things at me. I mean, I've had opportunities to film, a couple opportunities to film NFL draft stuff. Couldn't do it, I was traveling for work, which again, I'm more than happy to be able, to be in this situation that I'm in to where I can travel for work, you know, have it covered for the most part and like be able to just experience different parts of the country, the world, and get to do what I pretty much love doing on a daily basis so of course I was lucky like when it happened when the breakup happened I was in Cabo for example and that was the best and worst trip of my life obviously worse because I just ended up getting a breakup like the day of the trip and then also the best trip because not only did, was I in like one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to but I got to 
have like at least an hour or so of the day where I can just sit and kind of just focus on myself and just like look at the water, which sounds stupid, but like having that water there <laughs> definitely helps out a lot. Uh, the next week I ended up going to Boston and the weather was completely gloomy. So being in Cabo compared to being in Boston, finding out, you know, what happened, what happened. Um, I was kind of happy that it happened in Cabo, not Boston, because that my whole mindset could have been completely different just based purely off the weather, I guess. But not necessarily the weather, but just like, I don't know, I guess pe people get sad in the rain and stuff like that. But I was a little bit better after Cabo, so even though it was only a week. But at the end of the day, like I like I said, I am lucky that I have these opportunities to where I can travel so I can kind of distract myself from what's been going on in my life. And, you know, that's not necessarily for the worst because, you know, of course you want to investigate how you're feeling, what you're thinking and all that. But being able to kind of distract yourself doing what you love, it was also a plus. It did affect my content creation abilities. Of course, y'all have seen content probably with my ex and stuff like that uh, my main channel this channel whatever and those are memories in my life that i wouldn't really want to remove in general because that's my life that was part of my life it happened whatever but at the same time trying to create more content um while in that mindset was nearly impossible it was like almost 50 something days 60 something days by the time i uploaded the last video i had uploaded which was the beginner, you know, camera gear setup for sports videographers. And I had shot that video before the breakup. And I was too busy to edit it prior, of course, so that's why I never got it done. But I had that video ready to be edited completely. And it was already started edited. Like the edit was already the edit was already started. And I just didn't have any motivation to finish it. It was just like what's this for? What's the point of me doing this? Why am I doing this? Why do I want to do this? Like, it just felt so pointless to just kind of create on my own terms, I guess. And of course, I love this YouTube stuff and my motivation is slowly kind of coming back. So I've, you know, this is my second video, going to be the first one uploaded, but second video I've created uh, today, this night, it's actually like 3 a.m. in the morning, but um, <laughs> that's when I typically have all the free time in the world to make videos. So I've just been struggling to fight the urge to not edit so basically i'm trying to force myself to do fun stuff like youtube stuff and all that and it's it's hard because when i would get into arguments in the past like with my ex in general nothing big nothing small uh, just in general and i needed like an escape instead of playing video games or whatever i would just create a lot of my content like a lot of my content was created during arguments or fights and stuff like that that I just kind of like had to get away step away and I was able to just create more videos so I don't know if you could ever tell them in the videos that I was you know feeling a certain type of way but at the end of the day I still got my videos done but for some reason that this this thing that happened in my life kind of affected me so much to the point where like I couldn't even use that as an escape like I would before Sorry, my lips are getting really chapped, and I definitely need to apply some chapstick. Whatever. I, I, if it's chapstick all over my lips, just ignore that. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why my life was altered so much from this. I mean, it was pretty messed up, but it's just like, I don't get why I wasn't able to comprehend what I was feeling or what I was thinking and how to get by and just ignore it and kind of better myself which I did go for a week where I was just like kind of like oh I'm bettering myself I'm gonna be me I'm gonna be the best me but then there was a week that I was just like I don't want to do this anymore like I just I didn't want to work I didn't want to do anything but I had to because I got stuff to pay for but I just couldn't find myself being able to just willingly do stuff anymore for uh, at least a couple weeks because the first week it happened I was just like I'm in the best place in the world and I don't know how I feel. I don't feel happy. I don't feel sad. I was just confused. And now that I'm looking back on it, literally two months ago to two days ago is when it happened. And I'm just kind of like, I don't even really think, I mean, I think about it. Of course, I'm always going to think about it, but like, it doesn't like, there'll be moments it does hit me, but there's a lot of moments where it's just kind of like, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah that could have been my future but you know it's 
it is what it is. It happened. You can't do nothing about it. And so I kind of just have been in that mindset recently where it's just like, it, it happens, it happens, it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's with talking to new people or meeting new people. Like, I'm not going to try to force something that's not, you know. I'm just going to let things happen as they happen. I'm going to make videos as I feel up to it. I'm going to be taking on more clients as I feel up to it. And it's just like, of course, I should be taking every client. But there was just some clients that's just like, with the mindset I'm in and the the way I've been feeling mentally, it's just kind of like some stuff's just not worth taking. So like I don't take it, but there are a lot of opportunities that I did miss, which kind of sad because I'd rather be doing them. But um, that's besides the point. Basically, if life's throwing stuff at you and you don't know how to handle it, it's always good to find something to supplement like that emotion now not necessarily ignore it and just pass it by and just be like oh I don't need to focus about what happened in the past I'm just gonna do me you kind of do have to indulge into it I was talking to one of my friends and he's just like you really got to sit there and just kind of take a month or two and just kind of like absorb how you feel really break down what you're feeling and I have not done that but it's hard for me to do that because if I do that there I get distracted like either way like the I, even though it's something serious I need to focus on and really understand and break down, I, I can't do it because my brain will be like, oh, but then this is happening. You got to focus on that. You got to do this and that. And it's just like hard for me to process everything. And I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's basically what's been up. That's basically why I haven't created videos. Not that anybody necessarily like cares, but just for me, like I just kind of want to talk about it. And get it out there just not in detail but like just kind of like explain my side of things because honestly I've had a lot of growth on this channel since I've not been posting which is makes me feel stupid for not making videos whenever I was going through all that because with the traction that I was getting a couple subscribers a day which is not a lot but like when you're not posting for two months and you're still consistently like going up in subscribers and not down at all it's kind of like what are you doing why are you not making videos why are you not posting even though it's not the easiest thing to just create content like out of nowhere because I don't know like a lot of stuff I don't know what I'm creating until I sit down and just think for like five minutes be like oh I can teach this or I can do this and that and that's kind of how my videos come together it basically is last minute thinking I do have like a notions list of just all different video ideas but a lot of them are just kind of like well I need to go actually be out and do this or I need to like have some type of source footage to do that you know method and show it off that I don't necessarily have on my hands or at the moment so a lot of my videos are just kind of like what can I do with what I have at this moment and that's kind of how everything gets done so yeah basically I've just been fighting the creative bug that I don't have um fighting for one I should say uh I just I just can't come to well I can now but at the time I couldn't come to myself just sitting down in front of a camera being happy and just hey guys, I'm going to be helping you out today when I can't even help myself out. So <laughs> it's kind of messed up, but that's just, that's just what it is at the end of the day. I'm going to be honest, it, it did feel pretty good to just sit here with the mic on and have a camera in front of me because I haven't, like I said, done this in a couple months. And it just feels good to be back at the desk and back in front of the camera again. I, I don't know. I'm going to be trying to create more videos. I'm going to be traveling a couple more times this month and a little bit next month. And after that, I'll be in my summertime. I graduate literally in seven days. Haven't taken any grad photos. Haven't done any of that. So I'm just still kind of figuring things out, going with the flow. Like I said, I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm not nervous for graduation. I'm kind of just ready to get it done because like, I am going to be continuing my job at where I work. So it won't necessarily be like, oh, I need to find a job right now because I'm screwed. So I am lucky to be in this situation where I just don't have to worry about that right after graduation. Uh, but at the same time, it's like I do want to do more with my life and with my creative abilities, I guess. I, I would love to work for an influencer and just kind of like get to live the not the life I've always wanted to live, but like kind of have the freedom to like create for other people using their content I guess but at the same time have the ability to be on camera and, and be open with what I say on camera too because like a lot of things I kind of have to hold back which is fine but because not everything I think of has to be said but at the same time it's just like 
I do want to be me and I am me relatively a lot on this channel in general, but there's a lot of other sides of me that just I can't really display publicly, I guess, which isn't like I said, isn't anything stupid or bad or crazy, you know, it's just I just rather keep my image as clean as possible just cuz clients and stuff like that even though there's a lot of stuff online that you can find about me and it's it's fine it's out there it's, it is what it is it's me as a person I can, I'm not going to take it down because that was me at one point in my life and it, it just how it's how I've been but I mean so far knock on wood it hasn't really affected me you know that bad and I had fun doing it in the past so I'm just going to be trying to create more content I do want to get another not now, but I eventually want to move on from sports in general, but not, like I said, not now. Um, I want to open my my options up. I kind of want to just, I just want to experience some cool stuff. Like, I just want to experience the world. I want to experience traveling more, even though I travel so much and I kind of, sometimes it's just like, it's overbearing. It's like, oh, I'm traveling 10 different times in two months. And it's just like, Ooh, it's a lot. It's it's actually a lot more draining than you would think it would be. You would think like, oh, I'm so blessed. I get to travel for my job. But like, oh, it's taxing on your body. It is. I had, there was one trip where I traveled for like five, four or five days, came back home for 12 hours, left again for another four or five days. I was gone for like 10 something days straight. And it was very taxing on me. It, it does affect your relationships um, with your partner. It does affect your family relationships if you live at home it affects a lot but at the same time it's it's an opportunity that i have that not a lot of people get to have and it's just it's i can't complain i really just can't complain that's pretty much what i want to say i kind of broke down why i wasn't creating content why i've probably been overly present on social media trying to find myself but it's just i don't know i'm trying to figure it out if y'all have any problems, ever just comment, DM, need to talk about something, just talk to me. I could talk to you back. I, I don't mind. I I do that with my friends. So knowing that there's somebody that's willing to like listen and kind of hear you out. Like I said, I haven't really talked about what I said in this video to a lot of people in general. I really just kind of talked to my best friend about it. So if some people I know are seeing this, then they're finding out too. I mean, they probably assumed. I'm not going to say they, they, you know didn't but I just don't want people to always feel like oh I gotta watch out what I say around him because I don't want to trigger him so I just kind of play it off like if somebody says something about relationship it's whatever it's it happened it's gonna happen like my jokes are my method of happiness would be like messed up jokes and stuff like that so I'm not gonna complain about stuff like that. So I just don't want people to, I never wanted people to really feel to have to, that they have to be on like their tippy toes when they talk around me and just like, just get to be themselves. So a lot of people know what happened, but they don't know like how I was feeling fully. So it doesn't matter. I'm better now for the most part. And we're gonna be getting through it. We're gonna be making more content and we'll be doing more work and making more money and Tesla 2024 into 2024 maybe? Probably not. but. That's the goal, but yeah, I'll, uh, uh, I'm sorry for just sitting here and yapping, but if you listened, I appreciate it, and like I said, if you ever need anybody to talk to, you can DM me, it's fine, I'm, I will reply. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, catch y'all in the next tutorial, uh, it's a tutorial that y'all are gonna be watching, uh, probably a few days to a week after this video, so I hope, uh, hope y'all enjoy that, and comment if y'all want anything else to be taught. I'll catch y'all later, bye.